What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to go through the conversion functions, and we're going to look at float. So what is float? Float is the ability to convert an input into a float number. So um, in one of the previous videos we showed you int, which is converting a string into an integer. We're going to show you how to convert a string into a float now. So an integer is a whole number, but a float is one which may have decimals in it as well. It can also be a whole number, but it can also be a decimal, so it can kind of be either. So what we will do today is we will show you that conversion. So let's take a look at it. We've got a manual trigger flow here, and we've got a text input and a number input. I'm going to ignore the number input for now, and then we've got two compose actions. So in the first compose action, we will go to expression. We're going to scroll down until we get to conversion functions, and we can see the float conversion function here. And it says convert the parameter argument to a floating point number. So we click float there, and then we will switch back to dynamic content, and we'll choose the input. So this is the text input, and we can see it says text there. So this is going to convert whatever text we put in here to a floating point number. So we click OK, and it goes in there. Now, because the output is just going to show the same as the input, I'm going to do another expression underneath in the second compose action to show you that it's actually a number. So we'll choose the less function, because that's an easy one to use. And we'll choose less, and we'll choose the output. So this is once it's converted into a float. And then we're going to choose the number um, 5. So what this is going to do is it is going to ask us for a, an input. We'll then input a decimal number, or a number with a decimal. That will be converted into a float, and then the output of that float is then going to um, use this less function to say whether the output of this is less than 5. If it is less than 5, output true. If it's not, output false. So we'll click OK and then we'll test it. So we'll save and test. Now in the, um, in the input here we'll choose 6.5543 uh, and what this will do is this will interpret it as a float. So we'll run the flow Click done, run successfully. So we can see that the input is 6.55424, uh, and that's the same as the output. So again, it doesn't look any different, um, so it could still be a string. But when we use the, um, the less function and we put in the number 5, um, we asked if the output or the output of this compose action is less than 5, and the answer is false. So if this was interpreted as a string, this part would just error and say, no, it's not, it's a string, I can't do this, this comparison because it's two different things, I can't compare a string to a number. So this, uh, this function allows you to convert something f um, from, a, from a string into a float. Um, again, slightly different from integer, because integers are whole numbers, this could have uh, decimals with you know, however many decimal places, uh, and that allows it to output as that, but you can still use the um, comparison strings, like uh, or the um, logical functions, uh, com functions to then do um, comparisons on them. So what do you guys think? Is this something that is useful? Uh, is this something that you use a lot? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as always, if you could like and share this video with your friends, it's always appreciated, and I'll see you next time.